The recent reinstatement of 25 River State lawmakers by the Federal Appeals Court seems to have brought temporary relief to the state's political crisis. While the Nye Samwike camp celebrates this court ruling, Governor Simnelaye Fubara appears to have consolidated his hold on power by replacing local government chairmen widely believed to be loyalists to the former governor and now minister of the federal capital territory, Nye Samwike, with caretaker committees across the 23 local government councils of the state. The conflict remains largely within political circles, but questions arise about its impact on ethnic relations, especially for the Ijo people of River State. Given the leadership struggles within the Ijo Youth Council worldwide, how has this affected their response to the political crisis? Well, joining us now is Dr. Alaye Tare Theophilus, a factional president of the Ijo Youth Council worldwide. He joins us now to lay bare some of the issues in question. So good morning, and it's nice to have you on the show. Thank you very much, and good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you. Now, Dr. Tari Theophilos, I would like to ask, why do we have factional presidents of the Ijo Youth Council worldwide? What issues are causing factional leadership within the Ijo um, Youth Council? And also, how are you responding as the group to the new judgments coming in River State affirming the lawmakers? Um, first of all, uh, let me clear and uh, address some uh, salient issues. You know, IYC as an organization is not an organ of uh, any political party or government. IYC, as we know, is a pressure group that, as our constitution is clearly stated, which is our guiding uh, book, that uh, we have the past the patriot age and uh, the time where someone can be identified as a member of the Asia Youth Council. It's quite unfortunate that uh, one uh, noble organization like the IYC have uh, found itself in this kind of uh, situation where people that ought not to be in council are trying to force themselves into council, trying to abuse the guiding book, which is the, our constitution, that uh, they can no longer be guided by the constitution of the Asia Youth Council. As an individual that believes in the rule of law, as an individual that understands the runnings of the IYC, as an individual that is well abreast with activities of council, I don't really see that uh, it's a good thing that IYC, under my leadership, we we'll find ourselves in faction. Anyway, I was truly elected as the president of the Joe Youth Council by Congress and delegates. And the Eleko chairman that was appointed by the immediate past president and the immediate past president who oversee the process that led to my emergence as president. We also understand that some group of persons during the process were not really satisfied and we were expecting them to approach the court. But, uh, you know, an organization that we have both the good, the bad, the ugly, there are some group of persons that does not understand the importance of education. When people were acquiring education to see how they can contribute to society, some people with this motopark mentality that went to ninth school that does not understand what integrity and character is, just want to put our council into disarray. But under my watch, we won't allow that to happen. And that is why you see that immediately after when we see that some group of persons that are unknown, that are over age, that ought to be in the INC, which is our mother uh, parent uh, uh, social cultural organization want to still infuse themselves into the IYC. We quickly approach the court to see how we can uh, address the issue. So the matter of IYC factionalism in no distance time is going to be sorted out in the court because uh, I understand that my process was genuine and the delegate voted for me. And uh, it is not an a, a, a government 
uh, related organization. It's a pressure group. So we know how we can solve our internal crisis, but it's at this point in time that the IYC voice is highly needed is when we see some group of people trying to put us apart. But I believe that what put us together, what unites us as people, as a job people, is more than those little group of persons that want to put division among us. Then uh, secondly, okay. um, the River State issue, you know, the Azure, the Azure Youth Council, the Azure Ethnic Group, is an interested party in whatever that happened in River State. And as such, the IYC has always taken that bold position, that firm and straightforward position that we are with the governor, Sim Fubra, irrespective of what anybody would want to colorize it with. Why are we saying so? We have experience successors and uh, predecessors issues in Nigeria. River State is not the first state. But what we have come to also understand is that some group of persons that are not patriotic to the development and the growth of River State are bent on putting River State into crisis. But the peaceful disposition of the governor has proved all of them wrong. And that is why you see that today we have relative peace in River State. And I believe with the mandate given to the governor, the people of River State are going to benefit the dividends of democracy. All right, uh, Dr. Alai, uh, two questions from me. Uh, I hope you can hear me. Uh, yeah, I can hear you clearly. Okay, all right. Uh, first is to clarify um, on the, uh, the issue that you raised earlier regarding uh, some people masquerading as uh, factional IYC. Uh, what precisely is the age range of those who belong, uh, who, who, who can be members of the IYC uh, as a youth? I would li I'd like to know that. And then, uh, and then secondly, so that you can take the two questions. Uh, would you like to answer that first, or you want to take the two together? No, 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 I can take the two together, it's okay. Okay, so the other part uh, is to ask you, you said in your second part uh, uh, of your, in answering uh, Adesua's question, you said that you are fully aligned and that you support uh, Governor Sim Fubara. Would that be because he's also an German like you? Uh, a, a, a lot of people will have thought that maybe uh, the position that a non-aligned um, association like IYC should do is to look for a way to uh, bring the warring factions together, uh, the uh, former Governor Wiki's camp and then Governor Sibar uh, uh, Sim Fubara's camp, so that River State can progress and will not you know, be embroiled in all these intractable distractions. But here you are saying that you are pitching your tent with the Governor. Would that be the best for the River State? Um, first, thank you for your questions. You're they welcome. are very, very sensitive and important. First of all, the IYC has a working document, which is the Constitution. And uh, the age bracket for the participation of any member of the IYC is 18 to 45 years. Anything below, anything above, you are no longer a bona fide member of the IYC. It is enshrined in all, all the constitutions of the IYC, and that is our guiding document. So some group of persons that are already running to 58, going to 60, some people already having children of 45 years, 25 years, 28 years, still trying to bring themselves down that they are members of council. We can't tolerate that. You must give room. Let the youth breathe. That is the position. So allowing some group of people because uh, my brother is the IG of police, uh, my elder brother is the governor, uh, my uncle is a minister, uh, my, my, my sister is the wife of the governor, so age doesn't matter. So any person, anything I do, uh, the security agencies are going to be with me, uh, the government of my state, my region are going to be with me because my brother is like this. That time has come and gone. We must be guided. And that is why you see that elementary education is very, very important. An organization that is a noble one like the IYC, 
We expect people to at least have some level of education so that you will be able to have good understanding of the Constitution and why it is always important that we keep ourselves within the confines of the Constitution. You know, but when you see that, well, the Constitution does not really give uh, room to who will be uh, your educational uh, qualification for you to be a member, you see that people with, you know, this motor park mentality always come in and believing that because I'm like this, my brother is like this, my sister is like this, so nobody can oppose me. That is what is causing some form of disunity. And we keep on telling them, IYC cannot be pushed or um, co-joined into any government or uh, federal or state government parastatal. It's a pressure group established to speak and stand for the interest, the development, and human capital growth of the people of Asia extraction, and nothing more. So when we say that people are trying to put politics, political interests into our, they are trying to kill our noble organization. And uh, the Asia youth have come to agree that they will not allow that to happen. And that is the best thing to do to address some of these issues, sir. We approach the court, let the court interpret some of those things that are in, the, in, 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 in our constitution. If the court today says that, look, what I'm trying to say, that the people that conducted my election were not the legitimate people that ought to have conducted my election, or the persons that handed over the power to me, that presided over, that called for the convention, are not the rightful people, then I will understand. But today as we speak, the joy youth are with me. But for the fear of molestation, harassment, and all the rest, some people decide to stand on the fence. But you know, the young man has one spirit. You cannot really push us to the world and we will take it lightly. And the young youth have come to agreement and come to terms that enough is enough and uh, we shouldn't allow overage people to infiltrate our noble organization. So that is the position. Then secondly, when I say that uh, the IYC, Today stand for the governor of River State. Our mother organization, which is the INC, has come to say that irrespective of what the River State governor has done, the best thing would have been let those political gladiators give peace a chance. And not giving peace a chance, we will see that you are anti-development of River State. And if River State is not developing, if there is crisis in River State, our just sons and daughters that are from the river's extraction are also going to be affected. We don't want the just sons and daughters to be suffering from political and underdevelopment related issues. And that is why when INC made a statement, there is no other Azure organization that can say otherwise and that is the position of iyc we haven't seen anywhere the governor has found one thing that warranted any group of persons to say that they want to impeach him you know if there are internal issues it is always expected that we resolve those issues internally but when a predecessor want to dictate how successors are successor is going to run his government in this 21st century it is, it, is, it is alarming and it's an, an aberration. We shouldn't encourage us in. And the INC, which is our mother organization, has come to say that irrespective of, and we have not found the governor of River State wanting in anything in terms of mismanagement of funds, in terms of not carrying out sensitive projects, in terms of... So we haven't found him wanting. So we have to solidly... Support him. We have to rally around him to make sure that the people of River State, especially those from the Joe extraction and every other ethnic nationality, benefit. And we keep on telling the IYC and the INC, in as much as the Niger Delta is concerned, is the Monda Youth Organization, the IYC in particular. We carry the burden of every other youth organization within the Niger Delta. Because if you go to the Niger Delta state, a job cut across almost all the Niger Delta states. So if there is crisis in any state in the Niger Delta, automatically affects the Asian nation because as our sons and daughters are going to be affected by that particular issue that will emanate in those states. And that is why you see that any state that there are issues, the IYC, 
must definitely come in because our sons and daughters are going to be affected. And the river state is not an exception. Had it been we have found our son wanting in any area, we would have been the first group of persons that would have said that, look, you have erred. Retrace your step. In a, in, in a scenario where he refused to retrace his step, you would have seen that it is the just nation that would have even called for his crucifixion. Because a just stands for truth, a just means truth, and we always told the part of truth. This, any group of persons that is trying to put the position of IYC into ethnic coloration is not really grounded with what is happening. It was just of recent that you see the Equere uh, ethnic nationality, the entire Equere structure, going to pay the governor, Sim Fubra, a solidarity visit and telling him that the Equere ethnic nationality is with him. What we are trying to say is that River State is too important to be pushed into crisis. If not for the leadership quality that the governor had, if not for the fact that he is a peace-loving person, if he was like some other group of politicians that are very aggressive, uh, crisis, hungry, and all the rest, believe you me, the entire Niger Delta would have been in turmoil. Look at the food crisis we are having. Look at the hunger in the nation. We wouldn't want River State to be put in there because Mr. President, as we speak today, cannot face two sides of a war. We are having food crisis. We are having uh, inflation hike. We are talking about the increase in our dollar. We are talking about uh, food insecurity. And you want to bring another issue of political instability in River State. Believe you me, Mr. President will never in any way. And that is why you see that at any very given point in time, the IYC is always making that position known. That Mr. President should call his appointee, the immediate past governor of River State, Nyeso Wiki, to order. Because there are few group of persons that are just bent on putting River State into crisis, which will not be to the best interest of Mr. President, the Nigeria nation, and the Niger Delta people, and River State in particular, in any interest. So we are saying that Mr. President should intervene, call his appointee, the FCT minister, a political adopted son to the Jean nation, to retrace his step. This fight is not about structure. We are interested more in the development and the well-being of river states than the interest of one individual. He should at least show some form of patriotism. Because of his personal interest, putting River State into crisis will not do him any good. He should be a patriotic river son and call his aggrieved House of Assembly members to order and give the governor that space and chance to give the people of River State the needed development and dividends of democracy. That will make him a patriotic son. And not because of his structure, his interest. I don't even know if he wants to contest for president that he really wants a structure to be kept in a place. He should give the governor the liberty, the space to give the needed development to the people of River State. If he is a patriotic son of River State that has River State at heart, that should be his agenda. If there are even some group of people that are non-rivers that want to put River State into crisis, you should be the first one that will, should step in and tell those group of people that, look, this is my state. Putting River State into political start, uh, crisis is not to the best interest of my state and myself. So you should be the one to call them and caution them. Let him spare heading to see that River State is plumbed into crisis so that state of emergency should be declared by Mr. President. Made him an unpatriotic river son. That is the fact. So, not just the your ethnic nationality, not just the IYC that have made their position clear that they are standing with the governor of River State. Even the query ethnic nationality has come to make their position known that they are with the governor so that the dividends of democracy can cut across to all nooks and crannies of River State. And that is the position of IYC. 
IYC is not just a sole organization. And even um, not quite long, we had a youth security summit where all the ethnic youth president of River State and the Niger Delta gathered. In that our roundtable discussions, we come out in a res in, 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 with a resolution that every political gladiator in River State should share their shot and give peace a chance in River State. Why are we saying so? Because River State is very, very important to the stability and the well-being of the Niger Delta, especially the Niger Delta politics. So that is the position of IYC. And I'm not, uh, the IYC is not standing for Governor Sim just because he's a son of the Asia extraction. No. It's because he's the governor of River State and we want peace, development, and the people of River State to benefit from the political, uh, the democratic dividends that will come from this governor that they have given the mandate to manage the affairs of the state for the next four years. All right, all right, Dr. Alai, uh, just two quick questions before we let you go. Uh, I would like you to speak to, when you say that IYC is essentially a pressure group and not a political organization, um, uh, what, what do you say to the 2021 issue uh, when factionalization actually sort of, you know, uh, gained ground within IYC, when some people were fighting over uh, board appointments uh, for the NDDC? Uh, is, is the likelihood of that sort of a thing uh, happen again? And then secondly, what are your thoughts on the, on the uh, Supreme Court's judgment uh, given the power uh, to look at government to manage their own affairs, especially as it concerns elections, no more caretaker committees? How do you think that this will affect River State under Sim Fubara? And uh, will there be interest among your members for the 23 local government areas within River State? Um, you know, IYC, as I earlier said, is a pressure group. Yeah. And in as much as it's a pressure group, our interest is to see how a your sons and daughter, how a your communities will have the dividends of democracy. The resources that we are contributing to the national coffer, we also want to see how that can reciprocate, how that can reflect in our living condition. Now, as a pressure group, the NDDC, as an interventionist agency, is established to cushion up the developmental deficiencies that we experience as a people in the oil producing states in the nation. Now, not having a substantial board has always given room to corruption in the NDDC. And we have also seen that some in-house enemies and those that really want to mismanage or get fat or get rich with our commonwealth are bent on always going to have interim administration so that uh, funds that are coming to the commission cannot be account accounted for. So as a, as a pressure group, it is expected of us to put pressure on the president and the presidency and the appropriate quarters to see why it is important and imperative that a substantive board is established so that we can have the needed development and dividends of democracy. The funds that are coming into the NDDC, in as much as me and you knows, has not really reflected with the development that we have as a people. Now, if we have a substantive board at every given point in time, some of those funds that are being unaccounted for, we believe that will definitely be accounted for because there is a board to give approval to all contracts that are going to be awarded. And that is why you see that even in this uh, current uh, dispensation, we fought so hard to see that uh, we have a substantive board. And we believe that this substantive board, with the board uh, chairman, board members, that will definitely scrutinize every contract, award of contract, and payment processes, we believe that some of our funds that would have been uh, squandered can be accounted for. And that is the position of council. As a pressure group, we must give pressure where we believe that uh, things are not going well. Then secondly, there are founding fathers that have also contributed immensely 
for the sustainability, the survival of the IYC. There is always this saying that uh, is service before reward. If there are a group of persons that have worked meritoriously for the growth and development of the Niger Delta region, and that is, we believe that they have the prerequisite qualification to be given some appointments or, or jobs in the NDDC, it is also expected of that they also benefit from just kind of a would, would that, very quickly, it's not out of place. Very quickly, that does would, not mean would that, that it, would that also apply to it, the local government, the that, coming local government elections in River State? Very quickly, please. Um, um, yes, thank you very much. The local government election, in as much as we know, is going to be conducted by RISEC. While the Supreme Court judgment uh, is, 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 is a laudable uh, achievement for those that really want uh, development to get across to the grassroots, the governor that we have in River State is someone that understands the importance of democracy and the division of labor, and he respects the sanctity of how the local government can always give the needed development to the grassroots. So I believe that is a good one. And as IYC, what we want to see in our um, local government area, which like uh, nine of our local government, is that we should bring people that are going to be interested in the development and the well-being of their people. Not people that have... Uh, uh, pre, uh, have uh, uh, established precedent of uh, mismanagement of funds to be in the local government. Since the election is before the people and is going to be a free and fair process, our campaign to our people at the clan level, at the local government level has always been that. Look, scrutinize the candidates that are coming. Select the one that you believe that can give you the dividends of democracy right. that will cushion up the developmental deficiency at the local government area. And I believe that the governor, in conjunction with other stakeholders, will bring the best for the betterment and the benefit of the people of River State. That I assure you. All right. Dr. Alai Tari Theophilos, we want to thank you for joining us on the morning show today. Is the chairman, uh, the president of the Ijo uh, Youth Council.